I'm glad I'm holding this, Tony, so my arms don't flap all over the place like I did in that preview just now. When I was 15, I came to New York with my mother and we saw a bunch of musicals and plays, including a revival of West Side Story on this very stage. I knew then I was going to move to New York. I'm from Frankfort, Kentucky. I knew I was going to move to New York. I knew that I was going to work in the theater. I dreamed, hoped, believed that I would one day win a Tony, but I never imagined this moment and you standing and honoring and the career that I've had. So thank you, thank you very much. I'd like to thank my parents who not only told me that I was magical and my whole family, that I was magical and special, but they also told me I had a responsibility to honor the culture that I come from and to join other cultures and connect with them because so that I could learn very early on, it didn't look like you to be about you. We, we, are going, we are going through an incredibly complicated time in this country. But all of us here in this room and people who are watching, they're watching in the second part, hopefully they'll see this in the first part, that, <laughs> that at one point, the theater gave all of us a piece of ourselves that we didn't know that we had. And as we go through this incredibly complicated time, it's very important that we approach it not with fear, not with trepidation, but with the, knowing that we work with the dynamic of celebrating, exploring the powerful, fragile dynamic that is the human heart. So we need to do so more so with power and command and authority and defiance and take on the world. And those people who come to see us, see the work that we do, whether on stage or backstage, will hopefully feel empowered from experiencing the work that we do. Thank you very much. I'm very honored, and thank you.